Well, good morning, everybody. I feel like it's been forever since I've chatted with you. Um, as you can see, we are kind of full on in spring. Um, it feels so funny that last week we actually had a snow day. And today we can see the backyard. <laughs> it's kind of really exciting. Um, back in the back corner, this little pile right here. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but that's actually a pile of garbage. Um, some animal got into our garbage last night and pulled it all the way into the back of the yard. I'm very hesitant and fearful to think that that per is perhaps maybe a bear. Um, our, gar our garbage, actually I don't even know if that's our garbage, it could be the neighbors, but um, our garbage is kind of more towards the front of the house and so it's a significant significant way for like a dog or some other smaller animal other than a bear to carry that so um yeah I'm hoping we had a big bear problem last year so yeah I'm not looking forward to that so anyways um I am just cleaning up my kitchen from the weekend I had my big simulcast this weekend and I was utterly exhausted at the end of that night. I went to bed at 9.30, which I had been going to bed closer to midnight, 1 o'clock, the few nights prior. So I was kind of really catching up on some sleep. And then yesterday, we had church, and then we were at my in-laws most of the day. So I didn't even get um, my stuff cleaned up from the party. So this is all party stuff that I'm taking care of. Things are kind of out. I've got the dishes going. Um, I'm watching some What's Up Moms. If you don't watch What's Up Moms, oh my goodness, let me just really recommend their channel to you. I've been watching them for a couple years now, um, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm watching Meg right now. She does like um, cooking videos, and she always has really great healthy recipes for kids. So I'm going to take a few tips from her. I'm going to get my dishes done. Shane is actually taking Aubrey to... Uh, the dentist today. So that is a little look at what we are up to. Colt is napping. I had a really rough morning with him. Um, he was super happy, but he didn't nap for the past two days because he was at his grandparents during nap time and he won't sleep pretty much anywhere else other than his bed. So he had a really rough night and um, just tantruming last night because he was so tired. And then he woke up really happy, but he didn't want to go down for his nap. So he pulled out my hair, and it was a tough, tough little time there, but he fell asleep within like 10 minutes, so anyways, that is a little picture of what my morning looks like. So in the name of keeping it real, this is just the table this morning. Um, I still have like the Keurig set up on the table from our simulcast. I had everything laid out super nice, um, but I'm going to make myself a little coffee here. We have this reusable cup. Um, I don't know how big of a fan I am of it. I love it because A, we can grind our own beans and we can, you know, um, be frugal in that way. But B, I don't like it because <laughs> cleaning this thing out to refill beans, the coffee grounds, is not fun. It doesn't like to come out of here very well. So it's a little bit of a pain. So this box right here is actually my Amazon subscribe and save order. I'm actually going to cancel this uh, after the shipment. I'm going to cancel it as soon as I can. Um, they actually, I th believe that they're supposed to email you to let you review your products and see if you need um, to repurchase for that month. And I never got an email. And I did like a search of um, my emails and everything and I didn't find it anywhere. So I wasn't too happy because I didn't need all of this stuff so I paid a little unnecessarily but um, I've been getting this L'Oreal shampoo it's their color radiance and this stuff is awesome and what's even awesomer is the conditioner it is so stinking good um, if you have hair that is kind of damaged like I color my hair and I you know use a blow dryer and curl iron and stuff like that so it's really processed and this stuff is so good at just making your hair feel like silk it's absolutely wonderful and worth every penny um, we had been getting Shane this um, Dove soap I didn't need any of this so uh, well we'll just stick it aside but and then 
um, a bottle of Dawn dish soap. So I really, I have to, you know, I hand wash my dishes. So I really enjoy the Dawn. Um, it's nice and sudsy and good. Um, I might actually, after this bottle is done, I'm going to switch to the Scentsy stuff because it makes more sense for me to actually order for myself. <laughs> makes way more sense. And um, the Scentsy stuff is supposed to be really awesome. So once that bottle's done, that's when I'm going to switch to. So I think that's everything so that is my little order there so I'm gonna get myself a coffee because I sound like I'm dead <laughs> and I am gonna get trying to go sugar free. Um, one of the areas that was really difficult for me to go sugar free in was when it came to my coffee. I love very sweet coffee filled with lots of um, sugar and cream. So that was kind of difficult for me to transition out of. So I use the Stevia sweetener as my sweetener and I use a lot to make it kind of the flavor that I like. But when it came to creamers, I always really enjoyed coffee creamers. So what I do instead is I add just a little dash of um, extract. So this is Watkins brand hazelnut extract. They have um, caramel. I don't know about pumpkin because um, we don't carry Watkins brand here in Canada. Um, like just, I mean, you can order it online, but like at the grocery store, we don't carry this. So I have a whole bunch of different flavors. I'll just kind of show you really quick. So I've got um, almond extract, um, coconut, peppermint, lemon, cherry, oops, sorry, and butter. And then I also have a caramel one uh, in the cupboard ready to get out. So sometimes I'll use like some vanilla or um, something like that.
I'm actually laying in bed right now. My stomach is really, really hurting. Um, the kids are just outside my bedroom door. They're having their lunch. Our bedroom's right off the dining area, so I am literally just feet away from them. But, yeah, my stomach is not feeling very good. Um, I kind of maybe attribute it to eating poorly this past weekend. Um, I had a lot of sugar and bread and chips and all the things that are bad for me. And I think I'm really, really paying for it today. So um, I'm just going to take a few minutes to watch some YouTube while they eat. And hopefully my stomach will feel a little better. Well, hey guys. Um, it is now almost... It's a little after five, and I have not felt good today, so I spent most of my day in bed. <laughs> um, Shane kind of held on the fort. Opry did too, actually. Um, so I'm just going to get some dinner started. I didn't really plan out much for dinner tonight. Um, so we're just going to do some scrambled eggs, smoothies, and I have some yogurt left over from the weekend that needs to be eaten up. So that's what I'm going to do for dinner. having vanilla yogurt, scrambled eggs, and some blackberries and strawberries, and they are also having a fruit smoothie. So for my dinner, I'm going to have some strawberries and blackberries, two fried eggs, and then some tomato, and this is some melted mozzarella. Three. Yeah, so this is happening. Oh my gosh. Good grief. <sighs> We had just been talking about how there was something underneath the burner and how it needed to be cleaned out and Shane boiled water for tea. And then next thing you know, there was a lovely little fire. Ugh. Never a dull moment. FYI, make sure that you have baking powder or baking soda nearby. Well, friends, we are just getting settled in here for the night. Um, I added this little fruit stand here where my lamp used to be. Um, I had just kind of set it there um, while I was doing my event on Saturday. And I hadn't intended to keep it there, but I actually just kind of like how it looks. Um, I have one over here. So our Keurig is usually in front of this plug. And I have um, this little fruit plate here. So I think I may consolidate the two just to kind of clear off the counter a bit. I still need to put away these glasses. 
So these are um, chalkboard mason jars and they come with these straws. So these are plastic straws and I store them in a Ziploc bag and then the mason jar, the chalk for the mason jars I just have in a separate Ziploc bag that I just keep all together and I keep it tucked behind the glasses in my cupboard. So I'm just letting them sit out so that they can really, really dry well and there's no water droplets left because what I'm going to do is I'll screw the lids on top so that they stay um, nice and fresh and dust free. And then I still need to get my pitcher put away so I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, just giving that time to settle. Um, I'm just going to leave my dishes out tonight, I think. I'm still not feeling well. I've kind of been in and out of bed all day today. Um, my stomach is just so, so sour. So um, I'm just going to kind of take it easy tonight. I need to tidy up the living room a bit. And then I'm going to probably edit a video. I've got my laptop cord here. My phone has been in our truck since last night. I've had zero desire to... Um, even go get it and check my messages. Um, I've just been too sick to even think of it. So um, I can see that I don't have um, Facebook Messenger on my iPad. So I can see that I have some messages there that have kind of piled up throughout the day. So I'll probably go on my laptop and read and respond to those. And then this little sign here, this was actually on my windowsill but now that um, the fruit stand is there, you can't see it. So just moved it down. I love this sign. And this little bird came off, but he goes like on top of the M. Um, so not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Maybe, I mean, I switch things around a lot. So I may just wrap this all up, tuck it away until later in the spring or summer and bring that out. Because this is just, I imagine this might go at another point. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm loving how it looks, but I changed my mind a lot. So, you know, anyways, so I'm just going to tidy up around here, get some of these shoes and coats and things put away. Um, the curtains shut and get things settled in for the night. So Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'm sorry this was kind of not um, all that great of a vlog, but this is just my very real life, so I appreciate that you stick around and hang out with me for a little bit longer. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, whatever it is you're doing, or maybe it's, you know, mid-morning or afternoon for you. Whatever you're finding to do, I hope it's really great, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.